Good morning. Good morning. It's nice and early. I'm here with my cup of joe. How I start a lot of my mornings. About to go get a workout in. Ah, nothing like coffee in the morning. I'm a big breakfast fan too. So I eat breakfast pretty much every day. We've all heard breakfast is the most important meal of the day. The most important meal of the day. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at, I've already filmed my favorite breakfast or what I eat for breakfast every day. Today we're gonna look at if you can't be at home, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're on the road, maybe you have a bunch of meetings, maybe you're in a rush and you're just running out the door and you don't have time to make breakfast. Now, I'm gonna be the first person to say, I think that you should probably try to make breakfast. This is videos reserved for those times you can't and you need something fast. So these are gonna be my top fast food breakfast choices. And before we, we jump right into it, I'm gonna lift and then we're gonna pick up the video afterwards when I'm hungry, when I'm ready to eat. Uh, most of the time in the mornings, I'll get a protein shake and my coffee, maybe a piece of fruit, and then I'll go do some training. And then afterwards, you know, I'll have BCAAs, post-workout, and then go get breakfast. Most of the time, I don't even get a shake. I get that before I train, not after I train. But I digress. What I'm trying to say here is typically I get a workout in, and then I get some food in me. Now, the things that I'm gonna be looking for I've written the things that are important to me. I want them to go, I want to go under 500 calories. Ideally, under 300 calories. I want it to be somewhat high in protein. I want it to be somewhat moderate in carbs. So when I say a high in protein for me, 20 grams, you know, at least 20 grams. Um, carbs, I want to try to keep probably between 20 and 40. Fat, because it's post-workout, I want to try to keep this number fairly low. Um, ideally under seven, but because it's eating out, that's always the macronutrient that's really hard to control. So we're gonna say under 12. And then fiber, um, it's important to get fiber. Now, most of the time eating out, it's hard to get fiber. Fiber is a starchy carbohydrate. Fiber, I really should have it next to this carbohydrate there, but fiber is one thing I look at. I try to get at least 35 grams of fiber. It's gonna help out with digestion. But fiber is healthy for digestion and something you should really aim to get enough of. Um, and then also we have the ease factor. How easy is it, is it? How easy is it if you're on the road? How easy is it in terms of you don't have to go in and sit down, you can just grab it and pick it up? And then trackability. Some stuff is just not trackable. So we're gonna stick to mainstream restaurants that have trackable things in my fitness pal. So places like Chick-fil-A, Macca's. Hey, where's Macca's from, mate? McDonald's. McDonald's. Macca's is Australian for McDonald's. And then Starbucks. Um, yeah, we'll start with those three and we'll go see how it goes. So settle up, partner. We're going on a wild ride to some fast food places to eat some breakfast food. Let's go. Guys, Alec is playing Uber driver for me because my truck's in the shop. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through the drive-thru here at Starbucks, one of America's most loved chains. Crazy how you don't really see Starbucks in Australia or really that many in England but where you do see them a lot is China. There's a lot of Starbucks in China. Really? It's like one of the very few American brands that has done really well in China. Welcome to Starbucks, in one second. Okay. All right, sorry about that, can I get for you? Do you guys have any uh, reduced fat turkey uh, sandwiches this morning? Yeah, let me check for you, one sec. Can I get you anything else to drink, or? Um, can I get one of those, and then also the egg white bites? Okay. And that should do it. All right, let me double check and make sure we have the sandwich for you. Okay. I didn't see it on the menu, actually. All right, have the total of the window. Thank you. Yeah. Too easy, mate. It's right there in the corner. Which Reduce one? fat, turkey, bacon, and cheddar. Breakfast sandwich. Just give him that. Thanks so much. Thank no, you. Thank you. The one package. egg white red pepper bite thing. I guess, I guess there's two in there and a reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich. Off to Macca's. What are we doing? Could I get a egg white delight? The egg white delight McMuffin? Egg white delight, anything else? Uh, that'll be good. 
Thank you. Nope, that's not us. Thank you so much. Can I get a grilled egg white sandwich? An egg white grill? Yeah, an egg white grill, and that'll be good. Anything else for this? No, that'll be everything. We're at the window. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, no. oh, oh yeah, this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. All right, guys. This one is definitely my favorite. I get this one at least once a week. Um, it's got 25 grams of protein in it. It's got, I think, 31 grams of carbs, and it has seven fat. 31 carb, 25 protein, seven fat, and one gram of fiber. It's basically chicken breast, egg, cheddar, and a English muffin. Which I don't know why they called English muffins. In England, are they just called muffins? Oh, yes, dude. Mm 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 mm. Mm! Maybe they, they started there. 300 calories, that's it. This is 10 being your favorite breakfast in the world. Where does that rank? Six. Six? That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's got everything I like in it. It's got chicken, it's got eggs, it's got cheese, it's got bread. That's my favorite though is avocado eggs on toast. Poached so. avocado. Is it poached? Yeah, poached avocado on av poached egg, avocado toast, oh. and then a side of egg whites. Oh, on probably sourdough. Oof, it's gonna kiss that. Can't go wrong with some nice sourdough. Sounds that's great. Well, maybe um, some tomatoes. Chili flakes? Some lemon zest, chili flakes. Oh. Sounds pretty good besides the egg. All of these goodies. How much of them would I actually get to eat? It'd be, it'd be right around a thousand calories. It's not the end of the world. That's pretty good. It's not a bad breakfast. Could be worse. Thunder only happens. Dad's just over here worrying about his breakfast. We haven't even. Yes. Yes. Oh. What? Are you telling me you're hungry? Where's your food? Should we? Should we have food? She, yeah, okay. Here's what Hobbs eats every day for breakfast. Boom, oh, you love it? It even has your name on it. Hobbs's turkey recipe. And it's just a bunch of yummy, real food made fresh, keep frozen until ready to serve. Packed with love. Dude, you are so bougie. You're the bougiest dog I know. You eat better than most people in America. Sit. Sit. Good boy, stay. 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 And I'm gonna mash it up. Ah! Dude, your macros on this are about 200 grams. You don't need to usually do this. I don't make him sit. Okay. <laughs> Let the piggy noises begin. Gains, bro, dude. Look at the delts. Look at the delts. Look at the glutes. Look at the look at the, the glute hamstring tie-ins here, huh? Got a little chicken wing thigh. Look at these back muscles, the traps up in here. Got these strong neck muscles, huh? Look, I can take his food away and he doesn't growl at me. You're a good boy. I can put my hands in there and he's not going to get all... <sighs> Best dog I've ever had. Did he bark me? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I'm hungry! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now that we have gone through the drive through like a fatty, we went through like five, no, four drive throughs three drive throughs I want to talk, obviously, you guys, Chick-fil-A, We'll get to that. First place we stopped though, Starbucks. Reduce, reduce fat, turkey bacon. What I like, pros and cons. I'm gonna go over all of these. So the re reduced fat turkey bacon, obviously it has egg, it has turkey bacon, and it has some cheese on there. 
The bun isn't my favorite. That's where I'm gonna start off. The bun's a little bit dry compared to the other two, but what I do like about this is the reduced fat bacon part. And the macros are actually pretty good on this. Macros on the reduced fat turkey bacon are five grams of fat, 28 carbohydrates, and 18 grams protein. And it comes in at three grams of fiber, probably because this bun's probably the healthiest out of all of them. Definitely not a bad option. Option number two, Mickey D's, McDonald's. Not really known for healthy options, but this one is actually surprisingly pretty good. It's basically something very similar. You have Canadian bacon, you have egg white, and you have cheese. What I like about better, I like this cheese better than the Starbucks cheese. The bun is similar. I give this one the nod. It's a little bit yummier. All right, guys. The macros on the egg white delight from McDonald's. We have eight grams of fat, 29 grams carbohydrate, and 16 grams of protein. So, I, I, pretty good macros. I mean, all of them are pretty good macros. I wish this had a little bit more protein. The thing I do like about this one is the bun, for sure. And then obviously, lastly, we have the Chick-fil-A burger, or the Chick-fil-A morning sandwich. I ate it in the car. It's definitely, to me, the most tasty. It's packed with protein. So I wanted to do these because a lot of times you're on the go and you can't get to, you can't get home, you're maybe on vacation, you don't have a kitchen, you need to grab something quick. So these are gonna be your three best options as far as sandwiches go. If you want something that's a little bit lower carbohydrates, you can go with the egg white bites from Starbucks. Now, what I don't like about these is that they're the same fat with less protein. They do have less carbohydrates, but to me, they don't taste quite as good because it doesn't have the bread, obviously. 13 grams carbs, 13 grams protein, seven grams fat for two of them. Healthy breakfast and now I've eaten all of them, so it wasn't that healthy. I didn't eat all of them, I just had the McDonald's one. I mean, that, that goes to prove which ones are my favorite. McDonald's one is the second favorite. Chick-fil-A was obviously the first because I couldn't even wait to get home to eat it. And then we have the two Starbucks. They're good, they're not great, taste-wise. Oh, that's what we do, we're in here to stretch, good boy. All right, after that breakfast, definitely needing to roll out. We got done at the gym, went through all those drive throughs and now it's time to do just a little bit of some foam rolling. What do you think, huh? Should we do some foam rolling? This dude, this dude literally has to be touching me. If I'm in the same room as him, he has to be. We have some separation anxiety issues, don't we? We got some daddy issues going on, don't we? Don't we? I'm just gonna go over here and watch what happens. Oh, yep. Yep, has to be touching dad. I'm gonna roll over here. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Hi, hi, hi. Where are you going? Where are you, go are you gonna come way down right here? Hi, yeah. You're such a scoundrel. All right, well, I was gonna do some stretching, but hopefully you guys liked this video. If you guys wanna see me do more videos where I break down some fast food options or some other different options, leave below. Any kind of food videos, you guys wanna see some suggestions? I wanna see some suggestions, so if you have any, leave them in the comment section below. And like always, just give that a subscribe for this little guy, huh? I love you, Dad. Never leave me. Don't leave me, because I'll find you.